You know, I've heard a lot about Reno. And now, I'm really, really curious. You wanna take me? Tonight, 51 incredible contestants have one goal in mind, to be Miss USA. Alabama, Caitlin Vincent, Alaska, Courtney Schumann, Arizona, Isabel Ticlo, Arkansas, Riley Wagner, California, Tiffany Johnson, Colorado, Alexis Glover, Connecticut, Cynthia Diaz, Delaware, Grace Lang, District of Columbia, Faith Porter, Florida, Taylor Fulford, Georgia, Holly Haynes, Hawaii, Kiana Yama, Idaho, Jordana Damon, Illinois, Angel Reyes, Indiana, Samantha Tony, Iowa, Randy Estabrook, Kansas, Elise Noe. Kentucky, Lizzie Newts, Louisiana, KT Scannell, Maine, Elizabeth Curvin, Maryland, Kelly Shade, Massachusetts, Scarlett Ramirez, Michigan, Aria Hutchinson, Minnesota, Madeline Helgett, Mississippi, Haley White, Missouri, Michaela McGee, Montana, Heather Lee Oki, Nebraska, Natalie Peeper, Nevada, Summer Kepler, New Hampshire, Camilla Sacco, New Jersey, Alexandra Lockman, New Mexico, Suzanne Perez, New York, Heather Nunez, North Carolina, 
Morgan Romano. Nails, hair, hips, heels, face done, lips, real, purse, full, big bills. Yes, I'm a big deal. Legs, legs, face, eyes, thin, face, thick thighs. You, me, you, wish, you, phone, who, this, patty, pat, pat, sugar, gum, gum, gum. Mommy, yes, God, then you pop that tongue. This whole club is a runway run. Y'all, five, four, three, two, I'm a one. Girl, what did that girl just say, girl? Girl, I don't dance, I work. I don't play, I slay. North Dakota, Sanoa LaRock. Ohio, Sir Quora Carroll. Oklahoma, Ashley Earhart. Oregon, Ariel Frontog. Pennsylvania, Billy LeRae Owens. Rhode Island, Elaine Collado. South Carolina, Mira Bumsley. South Dakota, Shania Knutson. Tennessee, Emily Suttle. Texas, Arbany Gabriel. Utah, Elizabeth Bradley. Vermont, Kelsey Golanka. Virginia, Kaylee Horvath. Washington, Mazzy Echo. West Virginia, Christian Leonard. Wisconsin, Hollis Brown. Wyoming, Morgan McNally. Live from Reno Tahoe, Nevada, at the Grand Sierra Resort, Miss USA 2022. Hosted by Emmy Award-winning TV host and actress, seen on American Ninja Warrior and nightly on Access Hollywood, Zuri Hall. Host and entertainment and beauty influencer, Micah Jesse. Actress, TV host, and brand ambassador, Jalisa Bermudez. And FYI's lifestyle host, and the host of Revved Up, Christian Murphy. Plus, special performances by Sony recording artist, pianist, and composer, Chloe Flower. Now, please welcome, Zuri Hall. Hello, hello. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to Miss USA 2022. Y'all ready? I know I am. Reno Tahoe is an incredible place to be. The excitement at the Grand Sierra Resort is next level. And tonight, one of the 51 contestants will have to own her unique style to make a winning impression on the judges. If she can do that, she's our next Miss USA. What do you say, ladies? They got this, trust me. To help us keep up, I am pulling in two sideline hosts, Jalisa Bermudez and Micah Jesse. Hello, hello. Oh my God. Ooh, this stage just got so much sexy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now let me just say, I am ready for the elegance. I am oh. ready for the drama, the attitude. What are you guys most looking forward to with the competition? I love me an evening gown, so okay. I cannot okay. wait for that. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's about the beauty. These girls are stunning, both inside and out, of course, and I'm looking forward, forward to tonight's uh, performance. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh Chloe's oh, gonna yeah. be amazing. Oh, can't yes, wait for yes, that. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yes, and I am looking forward to Miss USA winning a life-changing prize package, which includes a six-figure salary, lavish condo in Los Angeles, and a luxury car. She also 
also gets a fabulous new wardrobe, including designer fashions from Giovanni and VIP services from our many sponsors. She is going to walk red carpets, attend celebrity events, and do media appearances. And beyond the red carpet, glamour, and the luxurious prize package, the platform of Miss USA gives her a chance to use her voice and influence. She'll bring her spirit and enthusiasm to work with our philanthropy partners. Yes, she will. Our contestants received scores in swimsuit and evening gown in a preliminary competition. Then they met with the judges for interviews. After taking everything into consideration, our judges picked a top 15, and I love this next part. One more contestant was added to the mix by receiving the most online votes as the fan favorite, giving us our top 16, right? That's fun. <laughs> now, in a moment, we'll find out the names of our top 16 contestants who will go right into tonight's competition. And yes, there is a new twist to tonight's competition. As soon as each of the top 16 contestants hears their name called, it's game on. Okay. As she walks the runway, it will be a yes or no decision from the judges whether she moves on in the competition. That's pageantry reimagined. This is all about the first impression. Who will be giving us the look, the style, the glow that says Miss USA when she walks in a room? And let me tell you, when Miss USA is in the room, <laughs> you know it, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. From the 16, we'll cut to 12 contestants who will compete tonight in swimsuit and evening gown. Then the field will be cut to just Five. Just five. And then the five finalists face off in a group discussion with Zuri, uh, then followed by a question from our judges. Then, after a final review, one of our fantastic five finalists will be the new Miss USA. Yes, you yes. will. <laughs> Julissa, Micah, you all honestly have like the best seats in the house <laughs> to take it all in. You're going to be up there with the bird's eye view. I cannot wait to hear your reactions through the night. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank All right. You. Here we go. judges, get ready to make a quick decision as you meet the top 16. May I have the cards, please? All right, I have the names of our top 16 contestants. When you hear your name called, judging begins as soon as you take that first impression walk, all right? The first contestant moving on tonight is District of Columbia. I want to use my platform to let other people know of no matter what you're going through, no matter who you are, and no matter what people think of you, you're still strong. Types of women in this world, and as long as you are strong and you know what you believe in, you're a woman. Work it, girl. Also earning a spot in the top 16 is New Mexico. I was given the power, the influence to be able to go to the Senate and really speak out about the changes they need to make for disability rights. And even though I wasn't able to make changes in the law, I was able to influence a lot of people to be able to stand up for things they believe in, whether it be disability rights or anything else. Still in the running is California. is the second I can connect with women that face the same issues as I. Know that you're still a woman whether you have a uterus or not. It's about being strong and being independent. So I'll never sacrifice anything to be successful because my story is meant to be successful. The next top 16 spot belongs to Connecticut. makes me stand out is I am not only a 
first generation Portuguese American, but I have struggled with an eating disorder and, so, and recovered past three years. I found my support system through that. And Miss USA is truly a multi-dimensional woman. The fifth contestant to keep on going is Missouri. Whenever I was in college, you know, I thought I was with the man I was going to marry for the rest of my life, but that ended up turning out in a really bad situation. I'm thankful that I was able to come out on the other side of it, and I've grown as a woman, and that pain that I felt has also just made me who I am today. Next up, please welcome Ohio. The third oldest on my dad's side, out of eight. My dad's been incarcerated for the majority of my life, and my mom's a single mom. And so their paths were different, and so I wanted to be a role model for my brothers and sisters. So it's helped me, made me push myself to go harder. Yes, walking in to the top 16, Nebraska. <laughs> Mr. Nebraska was my first pageant and I was a little skeptical of what pageant would bring you. You'll see people like me, corporate lawyers. You'll see people applying to med school, Harvard grads, people that are well-educated and very committed to their community. Also on their way to the top 16, Tennessee. So many life skills and yeah okay gowns and, and in the beautiful stage is amazing but I just think of all the past Miss USA's and Miss Universes that have really built their career have really changed lives have done incredible humanitarian work this is a beautiful opportunity I am loving this experience from down here. We are halfway through our top 16. Micah Jesse, take it away. What do you think so far? Well, these contestants are serving the looks and it is so intense up here. I am here for it. And I'm loving who they've picked so far and the way that each one of them owned the stage in this first impression battle. Absolutely, Zuri, let me tell you, they're so composed. The rush of hearing your name called and then have to pull it together, it's impressive. It's impressive. We still have a stage full of contestants hoping to join the first eight in the top 16. Who will take the next first impression walk? We'll We'll find out after the break. We are live on FYI.
from the biggest little city in the world where dreams come true. Miss USA 2022, live on FYI. Welcome back to Miss USA live on FYI from the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Tahoe, baby. How are we feeling? It feels like a good time, yeah. Before the break, we named our first eight semifinalists, and they are District of Columbia, New Mexico, California, Connecticut, Missouri, Ohio, Nebraska, and Tennessee. Eight more contestants are about to join them and move one step closer to becoming Miss USA 2022. Are we ready, ladies? I know they are, okay, I'm excited. The ninth contestant in the top 16 is Illinois! As a Latina, my passion and my mission is to bring representation to the Miss USA stage. So ultimately, I love to advocate for minorities and disadvantaged communities because quite frankly, that's who I am and that's where I came from. Next, to take their first impression walk is Kansas! I take my vulnerability and I turn it into power by sharing my story and letting other people know that Miss Kansas USA, Miss USA can go through difficult times and still come out a champion. That's who I want to be and that's who I encourage other people to be as well. Still in the competition, we've got North Carolina. love for you guys to see my heart and how much I absolutely love being an advocate for women in STEM and also competing in pageantry and I feel that I'm very outside the box. I'm a chemical engineer and I think I can bring something different to the table. She is one step closer to the crown. New Hampshire! So I have a bachelor's in psychology, which has really helped me learn to communicate with people of all diversities. I'd like to use my platform in nutrition, which I'm finishing up my master's right now, and teach people how to be healthy, how to find that holistic approach through the mind, body, and soul. The next spot goes to West Virginia. traveling not only in my state of West Virginia, but the entire country in itself to teach the younger generation what self-acceptance really is, because that's what my nonprofit's all about. It's finding your strength, building your character for your own self-acceptance to rise above any stigma that you face within your life. Only three spots remain. The next semi-finalist for Miss USA is Minnesota. This year has told me no in so many different ways, and I would say it's my most successful year, because I'm still here, I still kept going, and I didn't take no as a hard stop, I took it as a, there's another avenue. You are still in it, Texas! actually wearing an outfit that I made with my own two hands and have a story behind it because my parents are from, my dad is from the Philippines and my mom is from Texas. I wanted to express who I am on a first impression and kind of tell a story and I think we can all do that in a certain way. 36 hopeful contestants waiting. Only one spot remains. 
the final contestant to take their first impression walk for the Miss USA crown in the top 16 is... Vermont! Hey, this is me. I am who I am, and that's powerful. Smart, intelligent, feminine, but not afraid to be who she is. And for me, pageantry has helped me redefine that meaning of confidence and empowerment. Congratulations to our top 16! It feels good, it's exciting, the energy is kicking down here, but I gotta know, Jaleesa, Micah, what's it like from your viewpoint up there? This is incredible. There was so much main character energy just oozing from this second group in the top 16. You know what I like? The way that they show their confidence and their poise, and they still seem like they're having the time of their lives. Absolutely. Micah, we know making a positive first impression is a valuable life skill. And from what I saw, these 16 contestants are set up for success. So true, Julissa. And Reno Tahoe is making an impression on us this week, too, as the preeminent destination for leisure, travel, and entertainment. The contestants are experiencing the best Reno Tahoe has to offer. So excited to be here with all of the lovely ladies. We got to spend time here at Grand Sierra Resort. We got to do the Sensology Room, which use all of our senses, have some team collaboration, and really get to know one another. It doesn't get much better than this, Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Woo, so much to do in Reno. So many moments to take and capture in and, you know, get a little selfie in there. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, now let's check in with Zuri down on the stage. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again to Reno Tahoe. They really know how to show a group a good time. The top 16 looked fierce, don't you agree? Those ladies really brought it. All 51 ladies have really brought it. Judges, it is time to make your first cut. So glad that I don't have to do that job, all right? May I have the cards, please? Thank you so much. The first contestant in the top 12 is New Hampshire. I am happy to say you've made it, Kansas. All right, next up, we've got Texas. <laughs> Congratulations.
congratulations are in order for Tennessee. Let's hear it for North Carolina. All right, you did it, girl. Come on down, Nebraska. We are halfway through and your hard work has paid off Minnesota. Up next and in the top 12, we've got New Mexico. All right, take a deep breath because you are moving on. Ohio! It is your time to shine, Vermont! All right, we've got just two more names to call in this top 12 here. And the next spot goes to Illinois. And the final contestant moving on in the competition is Connecticut. Tonight's Miss USA Top 12 semifinalists. Let's hear it for them. All right, Julissa, Micah, what's the vibe up there? It is intense, <laughs> but I like it. Micah, what's next for the Top 12? Well, Julissa, coming up, the Top 12 will slay the swimsuit competition. You won't want to miss it. We are live on FYI.
Splash at Grand Sierra Resort Miss USA 2022. We started with a top 16, and in a moment, we will see the 12 contestants moving on to compete for Miss USA. Now, someone who knows how winning the Miss USA title can absolutely change your life is Miss USA 2021, Elle Smith. Yes, girl, you better work. <laughs> Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, Ponytail. Hi. How you doing? I'm better now that I get to talk with you. Give it up one more time, y'all. Miss USA, come on. L, I still get chills when I think about calling your name out last year. I mean, everyone talks about hitting the ground running. You did that in the most literal sense. Like, the plane took off and you were in Israel. Can you Absolutely. tell everybody? Absolutely. It was an amazing, amazing experience. Went from USA to Miss Universe. And I always reflect on that time. When will I ever again be in a situation where there's so many representatives from other countries? It was fabulous to learn about other cultures and to see different standards of beauty. It was a good time. Yeah, I could tell. You know, I've been following your year has been incredible. We've all been watching and cheering you on. What were the highlights for you? How am I supposed to pick? Girl, I know. It's Sophie's Goodness choice. gracious. I, I, <laughs> I think going from Louisville, Kentucky to Los Angeles was a big transition, but a lot of fun. But I have to say, being under the leadership of Crystal Stewart, you know, she is a powerhouse woman, the epitome of the woman that I want to be. So that was a big honor to be the first under her. Elle, you are stunning, you are so smart, and I just can't wait to see what is next for you. Miss USA 2021, y'all. Thank Elle you. Smith. Thank you, love. Oh, I see, I think I see some commotion over there. All right, Christian, I see you hanging out with all those important people, talk to me. Zuri, would you expect anything less? Honestly, I mean, I am with probably the most important group of people so here much. tonight, the judges, of course. Now, this designer was awarded the 2020 Fashion Group International Rising Star Award for all gender collections. He is Aaron Potts. You've seen this international table tennis champion on television shows like Entourage and in print ads for Nike, Adidas, Prada and Hermes. Soon Yi Lee. This LGBTQ plus icon, model, and social media sensation is a 2022 Sports Illustrated swimsuit rookie. She's amassed more than 11 million followers and 855 million views across her platforms. She is, of course, Olivia Ponton. With his dog pound brand of gyms from New York to Los Angeles, this fitness freak promotes health, wellness, and inclusivity. Kirk Myers. <laughs> International model, entrepreneur, celebrity, fashion designer, and creator of the luxury brand, Nia Lynn, Nicole Williams English. And Tony Award-winning Broadway producer, she is now the CEO of Nitro C, the largest female-owned media and advertising agency in the US. She is Ashley Clark. <laughs> now, judges, I know you will use your combined expertise and vision to choose the next Miss USA. Good luck and get back to work. And the leader with the vision behind pageantry reimagined knows what it's like to win the title and she's just here. She is a former Miss USA and well today she's a successful entrepreneur, the president of the Miss USA organization, Crystal Stewart. Also here in this row of very important people is the CEO of the Miss Universe organisation, Amy Emmerich. Hello, Amy. And of course, not to be missed out, joining us too is Paula Shugart, president of the Miss Universe organisation. It's lovely to see you. Let's go up to Julissa.
Thank you, Christian. I gotta say, I am inspired by the empowered women leaders here tonight. The innovations they're bringing to the Miss USA and Miss Universe organizations are creating even more global opportunities and exciting experiences. Now, speaking of exciting experiences, the 51 Miss USA contestants were treated to an exciting travel experience and a luxury retreat at the award-winning Nazuk Resort and Spa in Cancun, Mexico. Check the Miss USA contestants jetted off to a unique once-in-a-lifetime event in beautiful Cancun, Mexico at the luxurious Nazuk Resort and Spa. The gracious staff at Nazuk opened their gates to a paradise like no other, so the contestants could meet each other for the first time and size up the competition. And any time the Miss USA contestants are in the house, it's always a picture-perfect moment. The looks, the poses, the attitude, beautiful confidence in action. Then, it was time to get to work as the contestants took time to glam up for their official competition headshots. Hair and makeup styling by Kiss and Makeup so everyone looked and felt their very best. And makeup products from Senegens. Next, it was all about putting the best face forward as each contestant made the most of her time in front of the camera. And it's no secret how much time it can take to get the perfect pick. But Miss USA Elle Smith can show everyone how it's really done. Elle is always making a splash. Her style and smile are unmatched. And that's definitely showcased at this lavish and exotic resort. Of course, when in paradise, there's always time for the contestants to relax and enjoy. Pool time, crystal clear waters, captivating sights and sounds, events and parties, breathtaking sunsets, and lavish dinner parties on the beach. So much to see and do at the award-winning luxury Nizuk Resort and Spa, the Miss USA Retreat, an experience to remember forever. Wow, looks like an amazing time. I'm already dreaming of Nazuk. Thanks again to the Nazuk Resort and Spa for giving the contestants an experience to remember. Now, coming up is tonight's swimsuit competition. Zuri. Thank you, Jaleesa. I am still waiting for my invitation to that retreat. So you and me, we can try to finesse our way onto the same plane, okay? Uh, now from the beach to the magnificent Lake Tahoe area, wearing swimsuits from Kittenish, this is the swimsuit competition. North Carolina. 
Carolina. Nebraska. Connecticut. goodness these girls are they miss usa contestants or supermodels they know how to work a runway it's giving body adi adi oh it's giving confidence <laughs> and honestly i'm here for those beautiful smiles amen and the contestants are getting ready for the elegant evening gown competition featuring a performance by chloe flower live on fyi contestants believe they have what it takes to win it all but we'll have to wait and see miss usa 2022 live from reno tahoe nevada
from one of the tallest artificial rock climbing walls in the world in Reno, Nevada, I'm Elle Smith, Miss USA. The platform of Miss Teen USA gives contestants a chance to use their voice and their influence. The opportunity to dig deep into their community makes this experience truly life-changing. Now, one of the exciting events that took place right here at the Grand Sierra Resort this week was the Miss Teen USA competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the whole squad over here, what's good? <laughs> 51 teens arrived in Reno Tahoe and jumped right into the fun, the rehearsals, and the competition. Teen USA, y'all. A new Miss Teen USA was crowned on Saturday night from Nebraska. <laughs> Miss Teen USA 2022, Farron Medine. <laughs> Congratulations, Farron. Thank you. I've just got to say, your reaction when your name was called oh was priceless. God. There were tears, there, were la there was laughter, there was a lot, okay? I want you to watch this, and we need a real-time reaction. Let's roll it. Second place goes to They almost got you with that second place line. You, <laughs> you ready to put the crown on someone else? Has it sunk in yet? How do you feel? Honestly, has not sunk in at all. It's very surreal right now. Um, it's just been so crazy. These last few days have been so amazing. I've been having the best time, and I'm just so excited for this opportunity. Yeah, well, you earned that crown, so congratulations well, again. Thank you. Now, apart from winning, obviously, what was your favorite part of competition week? getting to know the girls. If you watch my crowning moment and you look behind me, the girls are jumping up and down and that it seriously makes me cry because the support system from my girls, I love you all so much. Like, oh, that oh, they were lit. <laughs> Amazing. We Holding had such down. an amazing class. I got really lucky. You can tell the sisterhood is so real. It's so much positivity. It's true community. And now you get to represent that sisterhood for an entire year. There are so many incredible things ahead of you, Farron. Congratulations again. Miss Thank Teen you. USA 2022. Let's check in with Micah. Oh, my God. How about our new Miss Teen USA? I was here for her crowning moment and it was everything and I've already seen some memes on the internet. There is so much that goes into preparing for a competition like we are seeing. Each contestant must be both mentally and physically prepared. So we asked our contestants what wellness means to them. 
For me, when I think about what's more important, physical or mental wellness, I think they absolutely go hand in hand. When I think about me being physically well, I think about my mental well-being. Physical wellness is feeling and looking your best, but that is not a certain mold. Looking your best is however you feel comfortable and feeling your best is about fueling your body with good foods, exercising so that you stay mobile and healthy and happy. There's a part of you who knows what the best part of you needs, and that's feeling yourself from within and then that will flourish onto the outside of you. In this day and age, with social media being so readily available, it's so critical that we are checking in with ourselves and not comparing ourselves to others. We're all worthy, we all deserve to be here, and it's just important to know your value and know your true worth. To take care of my mental health, really being physically active is something that's a huge part for me, but also spending time with the people that support me, my friends, my family. I think it's absolutely imperative to have an incredible community backing you, people that you know you can count on, rely on, have encouragement, and then people that also push you to be a better version of yourself. I love how you use that word community, because I think a lot of times it's so easy, especially when you're struggling mentally or physically, it's so easy to want to isolate yourself and be alone, but you absolutely absolutely need that community and what better community to have than your friends and family. And mental health is not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to not talk about. You have to talk to people and that's something that Miss USA should tell everyone who looks up to her. It truly warms my heart knowing that our contestants are making wellness a priority in their lives and how they're sharing this message with others. Coming up is the evening gown competition and you won't want to miss it. Guest performer Chloe Flower joins our contestants to take elegance to a whole new level. We are live on FYI.
beautiful evening here at the Grand Sierra Resort, but it always is here. Miss USA 2022, live on FYI. Welcome back. We've again, oh, okay, wait, it sounds like everyone's having a good time, yeah? I'll hold for that. I'll always hold for a good time. <laughs> we began the night with 51 contestants hoping to be crowned the next Miss USA. We narrowed the field to 12 who then competed in the swimsuit competition. And now our top 12 are ready to take to the runway in evening gowns. The evening gown competition is presented by Giovanni. And joining our contestants, please welcome pianist, composer, and producer, Chloe Flower. Nebraska.
Another moment with our top 12 in evening out. Thank you to the official fashion partner for Miss USA, Joe Bonnie, for presenting tonight's evening gown competition. way to showcase the contestants. Those gowns, I mean, the glitz, the glamour, I could fully see you borrowing some of those dresses. Oh, TBH. absolutely. <laughs> well, coming up, a moment with Miss Universe and the announcement of our top five finalists. We're live on FYI.
rad. Miss USA 2022. She was crowned in Israel as the 70th Miss Universe, bringing the title to India for the first time in 20 years. Please welcome Miss Universe, Harnaz Sandhu. Harnaz, we are so excited to have you here with us tonight. You've got to tell us a little bit about what you've been doing this year as Miss Universe. Well, it's been nine months of me being crowned as Miss Universe, and incredible things have happened. I've met incredible people, uh, working with Global Citizen, you know, breaking so many stigmas. Most of you know what exactly I'm talking about. Yes, we do. I'm with you on that. You know it. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone knows. But being as Miss Universe, I'm reminding you guys again that we all are beautiful. The way we look, the way we are, just believe in yourself. And also, and also we have been also, uh, you know, we recently um, announced the Global Mental Equity Accelerator at Global Citizen. So I'm really happy that, you know, I've been talking about women's health, especially mental equity with Miss Universe organization and everyone who has joined. And um, I think that just makes me feel so happy about being here. There is clearly a reason you are wearing that crown right now. I couldn't agree with you more. Right? Now, you have just a few more months in your year. Is it too early to think about what's oh, next? You see that tear coming out well, of my well, eye? Singular tear. Ah, this I is actually, the stage is taking, ba taking me back to Miss Universe, but I'm saving my tears for the right time. <laughs> um, it is, I don't like this question, you know, when people ask me about the fact that it's just a few more months to go and then you have to, you know, look forward. But I think it's important to look forward to the next phase of your life. Um, I'm gearing up, I know there's so many exciting things coming, but I'm not going to reveal right now because for that you need to stay tuned. Oh, we love a tease. <laughs> I'm here for that. All right, we will be waiting with bated breath. Uh, you know, the next Miss Universe pageant is set for the Big Easy. It's here in the States. Yes. Yeah. How excited are you to go to New Orleans? I'm really excited. I've heard so much about its culture, the food, and everything. And it takes me back to my own country, India. Yeah. I'm really excited for all the delegates who will be coming, competing for this crown. And I can't wait to meet my successor in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. You got to get some jambalaya while you're down there, too. Yes. <laughs> for sure. Ladies and gents, Miss Universe, Harnas Sandhu. Shukriya. Congratulations. The Miss Universe pageant happens on January 14th, 2023 in New Orleans. And now let's go to Christian. Thank you, Zuri. If you're lucky in life, you get the chance to know someone who lights up a room, makes every moment seem better, and makes you feel important with a simple gesture or a word. That was Chesley Christ. Now I had the privilege to work alongside her and her accomplishments were literally endless. Chesley was crowned Miss USA 2019. And in the words of her family, she embodied love and served others, whether through her work as an attorney, fighting for social justice, as Miss USA and as a host on Extra. Most importantly, as a daughter, sister, friend, mentor, and colleague. We know her influence will live on. And tonight, we honor Chesley. We were lucky to have her, if for only what seems like a fleeting moment. And even more blessed that her light lives on.
Grand Sierra Resort. Welcome back to Miss USA. Now the excitement is through the roof. It's time to find out who continues in the competition and the names of our top five finalists. Christian is standing by to make the announcement. Thank you very much, Jalisa. Well, I have the top five right here in my hand. What should I do with it? Are you guys ready to go? Okay, here we go. The first contestant in the top five is Ohio! The second spot goes to North Carolina! Moving one step closer to the crown, it is Texas! Stepping into the fourth spot, it is Illinois! Just one spot left in the top five, folks. Are you ready for this? She is Nebraska! Congratulations! The finalists have joined Zuri, and it's time now to get to know more about our wonderful top five. Zuri, take it away. Thank you so much, Christian. All right, ladies, it is time to have a little bit of a chat. What do you say? Yeah, yes. this is my favorite part. We get to know you a little bit more, how you work, how you think. Let me just say, low stakes. We're just getting to know each other here. This isn't <laughs> scored, no points, so just let's have some fun, okay? Yeah. All right, first up, apparently, the skinny jean has been canceled. The millennial in me is brokenhearted and <laughs> a little bit offended. Um, what are your thoughts on the revival of the wide leg jean? Is it for you or maybe the low rise? Anybody can take it. I'm it's absolutely for me. all for it. <laughs> You're for it? Okay. I wore to my personal interview with my judges flare pants. I think it's all about coming back. I'm with uh -huh. the fashion. All right. Okay. Ohio, you said you're for it too. Oh, it's definitely for me. Okay. Nice. Anybody? What about a low rise moment? Mm. No. I'm a big fan of the low rise. Okay. I think the skinny jean makes my legs look a little too long. If that makes sense. But okay. it's a little more flattering. And for me, it's definitely more comfortable. Okay. Got it. Move I would say, here. ooh, I love it. I think there's a time and place for any type of style. As a designer, I like to experiment and make different type of pants or wide leg or low rise. So I'm here for it. Okay, <laughs> all right. We've got some fashionable ladies. I am taking tips right now. All right, school, jobs, social engagements. I mean, you all have full plates. It's a lot. So I'm curious to know, what's your go-to when you need some me time, some self-care? I'm really big on that. For me, as a corporate attorney, it gets very stressful because you're working very long hours. The biggest thing for me to prioritize is not only my sleep, but also a workout routine, but more importantly, hanging out with my friends and family. They're what give me energy. I love you guys. <laughs> As the director of a medical aesthetic spa, what I'm doing, I'm definitely pulling one of my employees into their rooms and I'm having them give me a facial. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's also very important to show yourself a little grace in those moments, so I'm definitely taking some me time. She said, we're getting these employee benefits. Okay. <laughs> if I'm working, I'm getting the perks over here. I work full time as a chemical engineer, so I definitely schedule in my me time, and I always say you would never cancel on someone else, so don't cancel on yourself. And for me, that's just like a good face mask and watching Housewives. <laughs> hey, <man>. Well, <laughs> all right. Really quickly, we gotta go to the next car. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, I believe you can't pour from an empty cup. So you have to make sure that you're keeping yourself well aligned. And for me, that's getting outside and enjoying the outdoors. A little outdoor restoration. I'm here for it. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch gears. I am going to say a topic. And then one by one, you just very quickly tell me, ooh, I love this tea. I am into it. Or it's not for me. Okay. And then I'll pick one or two of you to explain your reaction. First up, shopping online versus in store. Love, love this tea, love especially this tea. in light of COVID. Okay, love this tea. I or absolutely not love this tea. Online shopping is all for me. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna have to change my mind because I like to try clothes on and really see how they look on me. So, so it's, it's a whole me. experience. Okay. 
Agreed. Not for me. I like in-person shopping. Okay. It's definitely for me. I have some long legs, so I have to order the extra long. Okay. All right. Never okay. This is the last one. I love this tea or not for me. Just tell me that phrase or that phrase, and then I'll just pick a couple to give me why. Your phone eating first and taking photos of every meal for social media. <laughs> Does the phone eat or do you eat? And if you get a picture, say la vie. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Yes, if I want to share it with my friends. <laughs> so, yes, you yes. love this tea. Mm -hmm. Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> not for me. Not for me. Okay, so everyone said not for me, except you are over here loving this tea. Tell us why. You like to get the moment for the food? I like, appreciate I'm with a nice looking meal, and if I want to tell my friends about it or tell them they need to try it, I'll take a photo and send it to them. And then the food can live forever. <laughs> very, very good. That's there for it. <laughs> All right, well, that was so much fun. I loved getting to know you guys just a little bit more. Um, the good news is there's more. But first, Julissa, tell us what's coming up. What a fantastic five. I think I could listen to them all night. Those ladies, they got it going on. Now, we'll hear more from each of the top five finalists when they answer a final question from the judges. Who will stand out? We are live on FYI.
Broadway Showtime at the Grand Theater at Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Tahoe. Welcome back to Miss USA. It is time to turn up the pressure. How are we feeling about our top five? Same. <laughs> During the break, each of you picked a card with the name of a judge on it, and now that judge will ask you your final question tonight. It was light, it was fun, it was cute a little earlier. We're gonna dig a little deeper now. You'll have 30 seconds to answer, and if you go over, you'll hear this sound. It's a pleasant sound. I wouldn't mind hearing it. <laughs> Let's start down here. We'll go with Nebraska first. Who did you pull? Judge number five, Nicole. Hi, Nebraska. Hello. You're looking so stunning tonight, first of all. I Thank just wanted you. to say. Um, okay. You're in the early stages of your professional life. In 2022, why do some women still face equity and equality issues in hiring, especially in traditionally male-dominated fields? From my experience, as well as a lot of the research that I've done into women in higher professions, a lot of the potential and full talent of females continues to be neglected and fails to be recognized. A lot of the reason being is because of a subconscious neglect for women. We're still regarding women as less than. And as a corporate attorney, I'm going to continue to pave the way for the avenue for specifically female attorneys after me. Thank you. Thank you, Nebraska. All right, Illinois, who's your judge? Judge number one. Hi there. You look lovely tonight. Thank You've you You've done a great so job so far. Your question is, voters your age have become quite vocal about age limits for elected officials. Are placing age limits, young or old, on any profession ethical? I absolutely, absolutely do not think that that is ethical. I think that anyone, no matter your age, no matter your race, no matter your gender, I'm a champion of inclusivity and diversity, and I think anyone and everybody should have the opportunity to go after and pursue all of their wildest dreams, and so I absolutely do not believe that that is ethical. All right, thank you, Illinois. Okay, Texas, you are up next. Who should pull? Judge number two. Hello, Texas. You're beautiful. Thank you. Um, before I read, I have a little cute accent. So if you don't understand, let me know. This beautiful judge, Olivia, can help you again. OK, so number three, my question is, global studies indicate that women are increasingly seen as more vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. You are asked to create a task forced to help address this issue. What's your first priority? What is my first priority to yes. address the climate issue? Yes. Yes, well, I think there's eight ways we can implement addressing climate change within our careers or our lifestyle. It's as easy as adding a recycle bin to your house. Everybody can do that. Or being creative in ways you can also implement it in your job. I am a fashion designer. I actually made the outfit I'm wearing, and I upcycle pieces and recycle different clothing to be more sustainable in my industry because I feel it's like my duty. So I think that's something we can all look for ways in our certain industries or in our homes to be sustainable as well. All right, thank you, Texas. North Carolina, who is your judge? Judge number six. Good evening, North Carolina. Hello. You look beautiful. Thank you. We heard your thoughts on social media influenced fashion trends earlier. Should content creators and influencers be required by law to disclose whether they're being paid or actually use the products and services they provide? I'm not sure they should be required by law to provide that information. I think if you're following an influencer, you're, you chose to follow them and you believe that the things that they're posting are things that they truly love. And hopefully content creators out there are sharing things that they do truly use and would buy with their own hard earned money. And those are the influencers that I choose to follow. All right, thank you, North Carolina. 
Ohio, who's your judge? I have judge number three. Hi, you look absolutely beautiful. So my question is, representation in entertainment is under a, micro a microscope lately. From colorblind or non-traditional casting in a live action movies to musicians playing historical instruments, why is there so much pushback on representation? I think as a country, we have to take the time to understand that we are the United States of America. In order for us to be united, we have to stand with one another. And yes, we are pushing back, but in order to become united, we have to change the, the trajectory of the different platforms that we've seen. And that's getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Thank you, Ohio. Well done, ladies. You all crushed it. Take a moment and breathe. The tough part is over, okay? In the meantime, let's go up to Micah and get his take on our top five. Hey, Micah. Hey, Zuri. I did a quick change. I'm wearing the blondes. These ladies can certainly think on their heels. You like that? I'm very impressed with the way they all brought sincerity and passion to their answers. And with each step, we get closer to the naming of a new Miss USA. Stay with us live on FYI.
doesn't get much better than this. Live from Reno, Tahoe, Nevada, Miss USA 2022. Welcome back to Miss USA live from Reno Tahoe. The energy is incredible here and it is crunch time. The swimsuit and evening gown competitions and the live question round are all complete. Our top five finalists have one more chance to make a life changing impression on the judges. Ohio. North Carolina. Texas. <laughs> Illinois. Nebraska! <laughs> Let's hear it for our finalists! One of these five will have their life changed forever in just a few moments. Coming up, we will crown Miss USA 2022 live on FYI.
Welcome back. <laughs> Not long until we crown Miss USA 2022 with the Mawad Power of Positivity crown. And now, reflecting on her year, Miss USA 2021, Elle Smith. When this crown was placed on my head, I had no idea how my life would change. Immediately, I was welcomed into a sisterhood that exemplifies honor, class, strength, and more. Women by nature are powerful, and this organization and this year has taught me that there is strength and beauty in using my voice, staying true to myself, and resilience. Crystal, you are a visionary. It has been an absolute privilege to be the first Miss USA under your leadership. I hope to become half the woman you are one day. Brianna, this journey would not have been the same without you. You are my best friend and sister. We're stuck together for life. Nancy, Don, Michael, and the rest of the team, thank you is not enough. I'm a better person because of you all. To my family, I could not have done this without you. Thank you for keeping me grounded. To Melissa and the entire Proctor Productions team, thank you. You believed in me from the beginning and for that I will be forever grateful. Kentucky, you have my heart. Thank you for the endless support. To the next Miss USA, get ready to embark on a journey of a lifetime. Your year will be full of joy, laughter, and memories. Work hard, be kind to yourself, and remember, you were born for such a time as this. Welcome to the sisterhood. Signing off for the last time, your Miss USA 2021, Elle Smith. Taking her final walk as Miss USA, Elle Smith. Elle, you have worn the crown beautifully and have been an incredible Miss USA. A huge thank you to the Grand Sierra Resort for being the ideal host. Now, you know, we had to bring the entire squad together because we kind of got a big announcement to make now, right? Big one. Uh, yeah. Kind of big, kind of huge much. deal. Uh, in a moment, the experience of a lifetime begins for one of the top five finalists. Here they are. Make some noise for them. Woo! Woo Who will wear the Mawad Power of Positivity crown and go on to compete for Miss Universe this January in New Orleans. May I have the results, please? This is it. In fifth place, Illinois. Fourth place goes to Ohio. Third place goes to Nebraska. Now keep in mind that if for any reason tonight's winner is unable to fulfill their duties, this next contestant will take their place. In second place, North Carolina. Miss USA, 